Hello everybody and happy Monday. Welcome to another crafting week and a little bit of a difference this week and uh, today I thought we'd start getting a little bit Christmassy and I thought we'd start to look at <coughs> a, a few of the digital printable kits that you can use every year and just add a few extra bits to them and they can be the um, the basis, the backgrounds, the um, start of your December dailies and then you can add to them with other things. You can add loads of frou-frou beads and bows and all sorts of wispy things that's what Christmas is bells and everything like we did last year in December dailies so I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're doing this year now this week the videos are going to be a little bit different I am in absolute agony with my hand and my wrist and my joints and my GP said that I'm doing far too much crafting and far too much repetitive movement so I've been told that I've got to not craft not craft for at least a week or a fortnight now that's very difficult as you will know yourselves um, it's very difficult anyway when you're a bit of a craftaholic uh, and also if you're running a channel and a shop and goodness knows what but um, yeah it's really unbearable at the minute so I've got to take their advice but don't worry because there'll be some some uh, other sorts of videos which will be um, mainly I've got quite a lot of stuff made that we're going to put in the shop so there's going to be um, you know some flip throughs of things show and tell sharing my stash as I always used to call it and things like that going on this week and also I'm going to uh, discuss what we're going to be doing this year for Christmas dailies or whatever is coming but before that I thought first of all because I've got two kits uh, of David's our own and then I'm going to show you the two kits from Tracy so Tracy Fox Creative and um, they're going to form um, the basis for my December 12 days 12 days of uh, of uh, December lead up to Christmas and uh, they'll just be totally Tracy's kits but I thought today I would just give a little bit of a plug for those of you that didn't get it last year David was hoping to have another kit done this year but oh dear if it's not the camera it's the computer and we've had all sorts of issues so unfortunately we doubt it will be ready um, but I'm sure there's lots of you that never bought last year's and it is a stunning kit the very first digital printable kit that David ever made um, so Christmas in Sherwood Forest there are two there is the Christmas in Sherwood Forest collection and Christmas in Sherwood Forest the add-on kit so we'll look at the collection first this time I've printed it on cream paper I'm having a bit of a, a cream paper moment and uh, I thought I would do this on cream paper the add-on kit I've done on cream card because they're mainly cards and things which you'd want to cut out and have a bit more heft to them but uh, yeah Sherwood Forest Christmas collection for those of you that weren't with us last Christmas Sherwood Forest this is where we used to live in Sherwood Forest in Robin Hood country and um, these are photographs they originally were photographs or photographs that David took uh, around the area and uh, and then obviously added Christmas things to it so they are real life photographs they were taken in 2010 2010 we got snowed in we were just moving through here to Scarborough and we got snowed in halfway we got snowed in there uh, 
in Sherwood Forest. Unfortunately, the cats were with us, so uh, we weren't worrying about them being, being stranded. So this actually was our back garden and uh, uh, just my all time favourite. This is all time favourite photograph. Um, so these are the main pages. As I say, I've done it on cream just to give it a bit of a different look for a change. So you get that one. This is at the bottom of our garden here. And, you know, these are all owned by um, the village itself. Uh, there's two villages that make up this area in Sherwood Forest. It's owned by the Queen. And uh, so it's all duchy land. And, um, yeah, very strict. You couldn't even paint your houses what colour you wanted. Or you couldn't change the windows and all sorts of things. A stunning place. This one, part of this is actually on a walk. So if you follow this path, you end up at the major oak, which is Robin Hood's tree. And when I was a little girl, we used to go on day trips there from our school. And you could actually go inside it. It was large enough inside for our class to go in and sit down. Um, not allowed to do that anymore. And you can't actually get in it because as the water table shrunk, um, so has the major oak and you can't get it anymore and they don't let you go near it because for preservation reasons so rightly so but uh, yeah and it's where Robin Hood's men used to hide in all its branches so you follow this path and that's where you'll end up there's some music background there again the background of the trees this is the path this is another one, a page of the path. So this, and you can see why we were snowed in, can't you? <laughs> this is the path that takes you uh, along. This is some uh, lovely layering, Christmas and writing, and there is an old-fashioned Santa there. Then we have some cards. Well, some of them, we've got a few journaling cards in the main kit. So, and I just love this robin. I've got some journaling cards with robins on. Here we've just got, this is a fantastic tree that used to be in our back garden. The cat got stuck up there once. Our little cat Zeely got stuck up there. Went to get a ladder up and the boys had to climb up and rescue her. <laughs> And then some more there, get it the right way around. And again, you might not be able to see it on camera, but there's background photographs actually in Sherwood Forest there with some little itty bitties. And then with the main kit, it doesn't look very greyish on here uh, because it's on cream, but you've got two different plain backgrounds uh, to back everything with. So really you can print it on whatever you want and when I show you the add-on kit you'll see you know the difference of having the white background so that is the main kit that's Christmas in Sherwood Forest the collection it is in our shop created by Catherine UK and then this one Christmas in Sherwood Forest add-on kit and I've done this in card and um, I've done some large large cards here which are fantastic for using as Christmas cards if you want. You can either fold them in half and make cards or, you know, you can back them and they uh, they can be sent as is. And uh, I just love it. This is uh, all frozen. It's not a pond. This is the path that's completely, was completely frozen. Very magical. We've got Santa here. And when my children were young, um, they used to be in... Uh, Rufford Park, which is still part of Sherwood Forest, there used to be a special hunt through the trees looking for Santa's reindeer. It was magical. Here's a set of four journaling cards. I just love this Robin. He's so gorgeous. And again, he's from a real, you know, these are from real photographs. And this is Nelson. So Nelson wishes you a Merry Christmas. And I know, I think Nola bought this last year and I think um, she's added her own doggies on there now, so that'll be fun. Here we are. We have um, 
some journaling cards and they've got lovely borders around them this one you've got a selection you've got some smaller tags so if you want to do some little um, layered tags um, you can do with those they're cute I like those four snowy journaling cards there then we have uh, this one which has all sorts of a small itsy bitsy so say for example you bought the kit last year um, and you did a large journal then you might want to do use the smaller elements and do a weeny weeny journal so like one of the ones that I made was this sort of size which is only about 3b4 um, and I always think it's nice to to have the little itsy bitsy ones that you can use there and then this one I love this one as well we've got background of music and you've got an assortment of different tags there so those two are our Sherwood Forest collection and add-on kit. Right, so that's those. So what are we going to be doing this year? Well, I'll get my... These I prepared earlier. This is beautiful, thick, handmade um, paper it's like a cream it's not um stark cream so if we look at that color you know it is a lot paler than than you know it's sort of an off-white i will put the details i actually got these from amazon so i'll put the details down below of the ones that i got um and i should think if you get the details you'll be able to search them on the european amazons and the us amazon this is very large um this is let's have a look we go along first don't we so 12 17 by 12 roughly so that's an a it's an a2 david what this big sheet a3 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 i couldn't remember which it was so they are a3 sheets quite sturdy and what I'm wanting to, for us to do for our December dailies this year, this is not my idea. This is the, um, the paper crafting kit that Chapter One Papers did last year. <coughs> and they, they do some stunning Christmas. They've got, I've got some of those. Um, they've done some stunning Christmas uh, principles this year. Absolutely stunning. Uh, they always bring out lovely stuff and I adapted this uh, for my own use so um, we're going to the basic idea of it is going to be like this so that I've turned this down and this is going to be our main um, with pages inside but this one I mean it, it, it this one is Midori style because it's got the elastics in it and it came with all sorts of lovely papers and things in it which obviously I used last year but then I've altered it there and the Tracy stamps there there's some of Tracy's butterflies and I've altered it to suit my stamps and things that I need so uh, we've got big pockets here it's got tra different Tracy stamps Tracy labels in there I've got some map stamps and some nature stamps that are just, I think I bought off uh, Gift Smiley, something like that. And then inside, I've added all my different stamps. So we've got some little bits and bobs in there and all my stamps and things go in there. So that is the idea. That's where I got my inspiration for the cover uh, from chapter one. So, you know, it isn't my idea. Um, but we're going to do it slightly different i'm going to we're going to make some pages to go in it with some pockets and um we're going to make that probably next week hopefully we'll see how my hand goes um I'm probably being a bit naughty doing it then but hey ho 
Um, and we're going to make several papers like this. So we need at least about four, four or five of these large sheets. Um, I got a pack of ten, I think. Um, and they're very useful to have in any way. They're very sturdy. So we will make that so that our cover is all ready for the 1st of December. So I'm excited. I might not do it, you know, this the same i might not put a book plate on um but we can uh, work with it so what what are we doing this year well i'm very excited i'm excited about this it's not going to be the same as last year it was very tra very traditional um december dailies and we had the pick jar and everybody put all sorts of Christmas ideas in and we, we, we took one out every day and we added it to the page. I'm going to have the pick jar again but they, it is all ready because these are the ones left over from what we've been using for our Tuesday sewing. I've, I've no idea what's in there, I've forgotten. But these are what I'm going to use every day just so that we've got a bit of a surprise added in and I'm going to use Tracy's kits and it's going to be Catherine's 12 days of kit -mas. I'm right excited it's going to be my design team project for Tracy Fox Creative for the month of December and what I've got planned is exciting. We're going to, we're going to do, or I'm going to do, twelve different ways of using Tracy's kit. Now I'd planned all this before she's then come out with another wonderful one, so I might use some oddments of this this first one for decorate. Well, the the, the, the latest one for decorating <coughs> the cover but the 12 days of kitmas are going to be 12 different ways of using this kit called glad tidings and i'm very excited about it so i've got to rest my hands so i'm fit to be able to do this and i want to show in a way that you don't have to, you know, some people, there's this whole argument about using printables, digitals, is it junk journaling, is it this? Does it really matter? We do a mixture of all things that give us pleasure. And um, there are some very, very talented digital artists out there. And the stuff that Tracy has produced this year. And she'll say herself, she's not... Um, she does struggle a little bit with putting together anything for Christmas. But wow, wait till you see this glad tidings. Um, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do for December uh, design team project. How I would incorporate it with the December dailies and, and that sort of thing. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to challenge myself again. And I'm going to come up with a have worked out what I'm going to do but it'll be a surprise so every day there'll be the excitement of what type of thing so you know we might do tags one day we might do journaling cuts another I'm not giving much away saying that am I and then we get a secret pick so yeah make sure that you stay tuned from the 1st of December so without further ado let's have a look at this fantastic kit of traces look at this I just I just love them I, there's some plainer ones and, and you can either use these to then add your own decoration on or you can use these to back. So I've sort of put them as I'm showing you to give you the thoughts that you could back these or use them for something different. I love him. Love that snowman. And this one. And then a plainer one there. this one here and it's all very much the theme of 
of having watercoloured backgrounds and you'll see when we get onto her ephemera like the add-on ephemera um, watercolour kit um, the lovely backgrounds that, that Tracy's done and fabulous she couldn't not have a fox in there could she and then I've, I've paired that with that set So it really, you can just, you know, if you're being careful with your, your money, which Christmas is a difficult time, you only need to buy this set and uh, hopefully you'll be inspired by my 12 days of Kitmas, what you can make with one kit of traces. So that's the backs for that. And you don't have to put them on the back. So just how many tags you can make out of those. Then we have these and we have got some Tracy labels here. Stunning. They're, they're some nice rounds so we could do some tab toppers or you can do different things with that. I've got to be careful I'm giving the game away. That one there. this with some more rounds oh look at this I just absolutely adore this page look at these baubles they are fabulous and um, I don't know as if 12 days will be enough now I'm just come up with I've just thought of something else <laughs> oh I love those some smaller ones there and again you can use those to back them and you know they are great for um, making gift tags for your Christmas presents you know you just back those and then that you can write on oh, who it's to on the, the back and there's your tags sorted for the year okay so that is sort of tags and ephemera and then we get the main pages so for a bit of fun I've printed the main pages on um, on the cream just because I just thought it it looked so cute on the cream these are the pages and they are and the background I just just love just love them and the gorgeous I love the gorgeous um, like the Christmas decorations they could be table toppers couldn't they This one here with the Christmas tree and the um, the boots on there. Ah. So <clears throat> that is all one kit, the Glad Tidings kit. And that is the kit that I'm going to use starting the 1st of December for the 12 days of kitmas now <clears throat> i've already made a start with these not for kitmas but i just wanted to show you these that i'm just started doing for the grandchildren and um i've just used one of the sheets to one dip one of the sheets each this one and then the one with the skates on <clears throat> so that's for Lily Rose is six and she does a lot of dancing and things and and uh, uh, her daddy used to do a, a lot of skating and David used to play ice hockey so that's for her and I've mod podged it so you know if you mod podge it and then back with fabric they can be very robust as a cover for journals and then Freddie is two he's got the lovely snowman here and uh, the stags on the back and again mod podged to give him some strength so I've already made a start uh, this isn't for our December dailies these I'm sending them I've started putting um, numbers on for them they've got numbers on 
so that they can I'm sending them for their advent calendars so they can draw and scribble in in Freddie's case okay so that is the glad tidings so if you're wanting to craft along with me uh, that is the kit that you need to get from Tracy glad tidings and then the other kit which she just brought out last week and this is the watercolour effect Christmas ephemera now these first couple I've just done on cream because they've just got those colorations and I want to uh, you know if you don't want anything too thick to go in a journal they've already got a cream background so I thought they looked rather nice on the cream so that's those two and then now I've printed the rest on card stock uh, 180 GSM look at these love 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 these that's the master board so all the bits and bobs that Tracy put together which I think is great I don't think I've ever seen anybody put the master board in in a kit before I've got some smaller tags here and some ovals cute 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 look at these Then we have some smaller and actually these are ones you could easily cut into stamps that quite easily make um, quite easily make a set of stamps. I'll get my deckled edge scissors just got over here and um, See, I'm supposed to be resting my hand and look at me now. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, look, you see, get your scissors round them and you've got some ready-made stamps and they'll look great on any, any sort of uh, cards. I mean, if we look at the ones, look at me giving you ideas now, we haven't even started. You know, you could add wanted to add that stamp on there put something else up there can't wait can't wait to play so that's that one then you've got some uh, beautiful like snow backgrounds which are great if you want to do layered tags uh, or just as a backdrop for you to put you know your own collage or your own uh, centerpiece on there look at these I'm in love with these snow globes I used to be fascinated with these as a girl so love them and then we have got these fussy cut for fussy cutting round and these are what would look stunning on the uh, go back to our cover you know you could imagine cutting him out cutting him out and making a focal point or you could have you know a, a full set of them on here there's uh, I'll have to think about that one I only got them at the weekend so I think this kit I will use for decorating the pages and then the actual ideas will be the glad tidings kit so there we go I've also uh, just made a start and uh, yeah just made a start on some two I'm only doing two Christmas journals I might keep one for myself to write in um, so these are actually all hand sewn uh, hand and machine sewn and hand embellished these toppers um, they're not finished yet there's bits and bobs to to stick on there so uh, I'm excited about those I love that. Look at that. sneak peek of those for you so that's about it so thank you so much for joining me I hope you understand that uh, you know I'm 
it's advice that I've got to uh, to follow otherwise I'm going to be in big trouble with my joints and uh, but we will put some uh, uh, shop updates and all nice things that's uh, flip throughs and things and uh, hope that'll keep you going okay then thanks for joining me take care bye for now Thank you.